I'm going to be showing you guys so you can track untrackable footage with just a few simple tips. Have you ever been stuck trying to track a scene and you just can't get anywhere with it? Well, this video is for you guys. I'm showing you guys every single little drop of sauce that I know when it comes to tracking inside of After Effects. Let's hop right into this. So we have this Rich Forever music video clip here. It has a lot of motion, as you guys can see, and we're really going to be using this background area to track it. You go ahead and right click on the clip and we go over to track and stabilize. We want to hit track camera. Now, as this tracks in the background, we want to open up the advanced tab and pay attention to the average error here. Now, the average error is just above one pixel, which is fine. You want to keep it below two. Now, as you guys can see here, we have all these track points on the ground. And as we get further out, they pretty much disappear into none. There's a few back here. If we go ahead and turn up the track point size, but all the ones over here completely disappear. Now, what we can do to make up for this is if we change this back to 100, we can go ahead and do a detailed analysis, which is going to retrack it with a lot more detail. Now, sometimes this helps and sometimes it doesn't. We're going to pay attention to the average error here, which made it less. So it actually did help a lot in this case. Super quick, before we get any more into this video, I have to let you guys know about my editing packs and presets. Over on my website, there are a ton of editing packs created by me for creators just like you. We have so many different effects and transitions over there that you guys can use on your projects to level them up instantly. We have everything ranging from fast and wood effects that allows you to add drag and drop shakes, hits, and wipes to your videos super easily. A LUT pack that contains over 285 different LUTs, drag and drop 3D effects that work on every single editing program that require no render time whatsoever, and so many other different unique looks, editing packs, and styles that you guys can use to level up your visuals. If you guys are stuck in an edit or you're just looking to take your videos to that next step for 2024, I highly recommend going over and checking out the site because there's something there for you. But anyways, let's hop right back into this. Now, as you guys can see, we have a lot more trackers in the background here and we have a lot more to work with. So everything looks fine on this track, but I'm gonna show you guys a couple scenarios that I would run through if this wouldn't track at all. And if it gave me an error that I'm sure you guys have seen before a million times. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new solid here. And we're gonna go toggle switches and modes and check on the 3D box here to make it 3D. We're gonna hit scale, bring it down, and we're gonna see how this tracks to our scene here. All right, now that we have our 3D box solid created, we're gonna go ahead and create a camera with the track points we have. And we're gonna see that that box is tracked perfectly to the video. And if we do want to move it further into the background, we want to go and open up, bring the position, which is the Z1 right here, all the way to the back. We can see it's tracked just like that. You guys know the exact same thing with text, 3D objects, all of that. Now you guys can see the track works. Now if the track doesn't work, what do we do? If you get the red error, this is what you want to do. This is what you want to run your footage through. We're going to go ahead and delete the tracker and let's delete Let's delete this 3D camera tracker as well. What you want to do to your footage if it doesn't track is you want to go into effects and presets and you want to search unsharp mask. Now you want to drag and drop that on top of your footage and using unsharp mask, you basically want to go ahead and turn up the radius and the amount to make your footage have so much more sharpness and detail. As you can see, you can turn this on and off. There's so much more for our track to grab onto here. Now you don't just want to go ahead and track this footage. Now what you actually have to do is duplicate it one time delete the unsharp mask off the top one, turn off the top one for now, click on the bottom one that has the unsharp mask, and you want to make it as sharp as you want for your footage. I would highly recommend going and messing around with it with the track. Now, what you want to do is you want to right click on this here. You want to go ahead and pre-compose it and make sure you have the settings hit right here. Now, hitting OK, and then going back into our composition here, we can now track this because there are no effects on it. So we're going to right click, go over and track and stabilize and track the camera. Now you guys can see it's analyzing the background and I guarantee you guys, if your footage is not tracking, applying this simple tip right here, it's gonna make it track because it just adds so many more points and so much more detail for the track points to grab onto. As you guys can see, we have a less of an average error and if we put on detailed analysis, I bet it's gonna be even less as well. Now, what you would do with this, you're wondering, oh, I don't want my videos to look like this with the footage on it, da 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 da. So basically what you wanna do, you wanna use this as the way to create the camera and then you wanna turn that other layer back on top, just like this. So clicking on the one with the detailed analysis, we're going to create the camera and then we can go ahead and turn that off and just use this as the reference one and then have the actual video clip here. So now when we go ahead and add our solid in, just like before, we turn it on 3D. You guys can see it's tracked just like that on the detailed analysis error. Now, if that is not working for you and you want to figure out how to track, I have one more method to show you guys here. We go ahead and delete 
almost all these here and just have the original reference one here. What you can do is look for areas of the video that looks like it can grab onto the most. You can find these areas just by looking at the most detailed areas, which would be the grass here. Now, what you want to do for something like this is it won't work for the entire scene, but it will work pretty well on this. Now, if we duplicate our clip here, turn off the bottom one, we can go into our pen tool here and we can basically just create an outline of the fence and the grass here, just like this. And as the video goes on, as you guys can see, we have all the information in there. Now on this area right here, we're going to go ahead and apply the unsharp mask on this right here and turn everything up. So as you guys can see here, we compare this grass compared to this grass. There is so much more to track in the in the pen tool in the cutout area. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click, pre-compose that yet again. We're not going to open the new composition. And now that that's pre-composed, we can right click, go ahead and track this. All right, now that we have all of our track points here, we're going to create the camera. And now that our camera is created in here, all we have to do is turn this layer off and the camera track is coming from this very weird looking area, but it's going to apply to the regular video here, just like this. And it's going to look super clean if you go ahead and add in your solid and set it on 3D. You guys can see just like that, it looks totally fine. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to watch more videos like this, I recommend leaving a like and subscribing to the channel as well. Also, check out this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.